Welcome back. The grave site of anti-apartheid revolutionary and PAC founder Robert Mangaliso Sobuku has been desecrated once again. Now, the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania has expressed its disheartenment. The party says treating Sobuku's sacred place with violent disrespect undermines his unmatched legacy and history. For more on this conversation, we're now joined by PAC leader Mzuanele Inyonso. So thank you so much for joining us and for your time this evening. As you've ex expressed as the PAC, this is very disheartening to see such acts of vandalism, especially towards those that have passed on. This is the second time that the gravesite of Mr. Sobuke has been vandalized. What are your sentiments as the PAC? Firstly, I thank you for having us and greetings to your viewers. Firstly, the, the grave that was vandalized is, is a grave next to Sobukwe's grave. There was an attempt in vandalizing Sobukwe's grave and we see that it did not succeed because they pushed it, they, they tried, it was, it's well, it's, it, it's well crafted these days. But, but they tried to vandalize it, but they, they did not succeed. But there are five applicators who were also buried just next to Sobukwe. They succeeded in vandalizing that one and they vandalized it successfully. In fact, this is, this was not going to be the second time, it was going to be the fourth time that grave has been vandalized. And uh, we condemn it. And we also uh, take the blame to the, to, the, to the police and the Department of Arts and Culture. Remember, Sobukwe's grave was declared as a heritage site. And by declaring Sobukwe's grave as a heritage site, it meant that all graves around Sobukwe and Sobukwe's grave itself, and that of uh, the graves of his family, are all protected. And, and it doesn't make sense to declare a site as the heritage site and yet you don't protect it. So we really condemn it. It's an embarrassment. It's, a, it's also a sign that Sobukwe is still persecuted in his shallow grave as he was persecuted when he was still alive in Azania. Mm. And also the, 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 the fact that the Eastern Cape government has, uh, in, has, got, has got intentions of renaming Graf Reinet town as Robert Mangaliso Sobukwe's town. We also believe that those, because there are people who strongly oppose some conservatives who are racist and who hate Sobukwe with passion and are, are, are vehemently opposed to the idea. We also believe that this could be the, 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 their actions of showing their disgruntlement of renaming Graf Renet as Robert Mangalis of Somukwe Town. Mm. What does this kind of vandalism say to us, um, especially as a society, as a country, and especially of those who, like you say, not only Sobukwe and those that are buried around him, for their contributions that, have made, that they've made to, to South Africa? They've made an immense contribution. It is, the, it is because of them that today we are enjoying what we call freedom, though it is not what they fought for. But truth is, this was Sobukwe who fought for liberation. It was Sobukwe who, who, who had a law enacted uh, according to him in this country, a Sobukwe clause. It was Sobukwe, the man who was feared by white people, who was persecuted, who today is also persecuted by, by, by the uh, black government. It was Sobukwe who was the most videorized, the most recorded, the most feared politic politician, and yet we can't even find his recorded videos even to date. The current government is refusing to release Sobukwe's recordings. We've been complaining in deaf ears. And also those who are, who are buried around him, it, 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 it also include Mama Veronica Sobukwe Zondeni, who was a, a revolutionary herself, who just passed away four or five years ago. She's also buried next to him. And there were also five Aplakaitas who were killed in Fort St. John's in 1994, um, when there was a, a conflict between Apla, Umkondo, Isizwe, and Transkai Defense Force, and they were all killed. And when we exhumed them, we only found the, the scars and the PAC leadership at the time 
uh, suggested that we must take all their remains and bury them next to Sobukwe. And, and at, as the time went by, the Department of Arts and Culture built a tombstone in their grave. And it is that tombstone that today has been severely vandalized. Vandalized exactly the same way Somukwe's grave has always been vandalized. And also yesterday there was this attempt, there are photos and so on, that there was also an attempt to vandalize Somukwe's grave again only yesterday. Okay. It's really worrying and we condemn it. Of course, of course. Does this incident reflect a broader trend of intolerance towards historical figures or political views that don't align with mainstream narratives? Yes, yes, it is. It symbolizes it. It also proves that whatever Sobukwe said and what Sobukwe stood for and died for and what PAC has been fighting for is really a problem to the powers that be. Because remember, Sobukwe has been fighting for land. Remember, his organization, PAC, is still fighting for land. And remember, those who are in charge, those who know that for you to be truly, truly liberated in your own country, you should get the land. They will do everything in their power to make sure that the PAC of Sobukwe is destroyed. That Sobukwe is destroyed. They, despite the fact that they poisoned and killed Sobukwe, they still try to vandalize his grave. They still hate him from the grave because he's telling the truth. But we vow as his disciples and as his organization that until the land is returned to its rightful owners, we will not go back and we will take the fight straight to those who oppressed us and the land will be returned to the African people. Mm. Earlier on, you made mention of putting the blame on the Department of Police and that of Arts and Culture. What measures can be put in place in order to avoid this in the future? Heritage sites are all protected, but except Sobukwe's heritage site. All heritage sites in the world are protected. All heritage sites here in South Africa are protected, but that heritage site in Hrafrenet is not protected. Why? Because it, it is Sobukwe's grave. So the police must protect the site. This morning, the PAC local members in, at Graf Rennet have opened the case with the police, of course, with my instructions. They have opened the case and we are going to make a follow-up. Very soon I'll take a trip personally and meet with the police in Graf Rennet and ask them to take measures and protect Sobukwe's legacy and protect Sobukwe's grave and protect the revolution and protect whatever is named after Sobukwe in Hrafrenet and everywhere else in the world, including Kimbali in the Kharish. Mm. I mean, as we celebrate the Day of Reconciliation today, how can we work towards a, a peaceful and respectful society that really respects those that have made contributions towards the history of South Africa? Firstly, the greatest reconciliation that this country deserves and African people deserve is to be given back their land. That's when we are going to get the reconciliation. We cannot reconcile with those who have oppressed us if they are still holding on to what, to what we have been fighting for. Remember, the item of conflict is the land. The item of conflict has always been the land. And that land is still in the hands of white people. So there can be a reconciliation if the economy of the country is still in the hands of, of, of our oppressors. If we can resolve that land question, everything else shall follow. As the PAC said in 1994, land first, the rest shall follow. All right. Thank you so much for your time this evening, Mr. Nyonso. That was Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania leader, Mr. Zwanele Nyonso, speaking to us there about the vandalism of the heritage site around the Robert Subuke graves.